Hello, 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 hello. Well, hang on a second. Not sure what happened. There we go. I'm going to wait a little bit, you know. Hopefully this nothing happens. I'm not sure why it, <laughs> it locked up on me for a second. My phone locked. Can you guys hear me okay? Everything all right? Hello, Rainy Nice. Hello, Britt Allen. More hoy. I'm hoping I'll be able to do this because, uh, for some reason, whenever I sit down, I get really dizzy. And if you hear any, like, noises, it's because I have some, uh, sweet tart ropes. I'm trying to open the package and I haven't been successful at it, so. Got it. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I start the recording. See if I feel any better, too. So I got a new keyboard from the pawn shop and I was going, I, I was kind of thinking about making a video on all the stuff I found at the pawn shop or at multiple pawn shops, but I'm not really sure yet. Um, but this is the keyboard I got. Look at how tiny it is. Can you believe they actually made keyboards this small? Like back then? I mean, here's the laptop as an example. It's just like, half the size of the laptop pretty much I mean it's got that logo on it but I'm not exactly sure when this uh, keyboard came out it says it's made in China though so I don't know it doesn't really have a date on it so from now on I'm gonna be using this keyboard for my PS2 keyboards. I also got a PS2 mouse, but there's only one PS2 port on this thing, so I can't really use it. And it's a ball mouse, so it's probably garbage like my other two. Chat's quiet today. Welcome everyone to the stream. Here in probably about like 30 seconds, I'll start recording and do the intro and all that good stuff. You lost all of your ISOs? How'd you do that? Oh, yeah, that sucks. That's why I'm paying for two terabytes of Google Drive storage so I can put all my stuff on there and have it on my physical uh, drive, too. I eventually plan on getting a NAS and have like a uh, set it up as like a raid. raid server so I can, you know, in case one drive fails, I can just get it uh, replaced. But, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording, and hopefully I can get into this. Let <clears throat> me get my mood, you know, lightened up a little bit before I begin. Oh man, I feel dizzy when I'm sitting down. I don't know why. Hello, David Sammons. Good to see you. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm now recording. I think I'm dizzy because of the uh, the sip I have for my circle is I, th I think it's an energy sip so unless I'm standing up I feel okay but whenever I sit down and like move around a little bit I get dizzy I'm not really sure maybe something's wrong with my ears I don't know but all right I'm gonna go ahead and do the intro and get right into this so here we go all right three two one Hey guys, Oliver Windows here today I am back with another video and today what I'm doing in this video is I'm gonna be installing 
Windows Whistler version 2257. I'm pretty sure in this build is the first build to have the whole Windows Whistler labeled on the uh, boot screen. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research as I go along, which means uh, I'm going to go to the beta, uh, beta wiki website and, you know, read the stuff like that. And of course, I'm going to get some like knowledge from chat as well, mostly, mostly from rainy nights. But without further ado, let's go ahead and set this up, set up the camera and everything else. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop here. Hold this up. this situated completely I wish I kind of wish the monitors you know four by three but you know it is what it is I mean not four by three 16 by nine tighten this down as much as possible nor the hair that's flying by all right that should be good enough Go ahead and turn that off and turn the laptop on. And I went ahead and swapped the hard drive from the previous video, uh, the Longhorn video, uh, over back over to the Whistler one. So it definitely is going to be a lot faster than, you know, trying to install Longhorn. But I did get this. Whoops. Well, there went that. I, I got a package the other day and I haven't even opened it yet. I kind of wanted to show it on stream to see, you know, people could see what it is. I'm just hoping I didn't get scammed or anything like that. It was off of Amazon, so I guess you never know. But I got this. Well, I gotta turn the light back on. As you can see, it says SSD on it. 14th anniversary, 2007 to 2021, three year anniversary. 64 gigabyte SSD, a king spec. I've never really heard of that. I've never really heard of this brand before. There's only like a very small few brands that make SSDs for IDE slots, but it's got, you know, this stuff labeled on it. I don't know if it's really true or not, but I'll go ahead and sign in real quick. Go ahead and open this package up and see what is in it. Nice, I'm greeted with a pure white box. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. You open it up here, hey, there it is. Oh, interesting. It comes with a, a cable? Cool. It actually comes with an IDE cable. That's, that's awesome. So here's the, the uh, SSD. I've never actually heard of Yansen before, but I mean, it's here, it's a it's an IDE SSD. So I'm probably going to be putting uh, the future Longhorn builds on this drive instead of the one I had previously. So yeah, we got this Yansen SSD on it. The back is written in some, you know, Yansen and then Chinese, I think that's Chinese. I'm not exactly, I'm not too certain. But instead of a SATA drive, it's called it's called a PATA 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 drive. I'm not exactly sure, but so let's see. Is this a typical IDE cable? Let's see. So this side is the default IDE, I think. Let's see. What's this side? I guess this is default. I don't know. It has all the holes in this one, but the, this side doesn't. No, this side does. Okay. I guess it's just a normal cable, and it comes with uh, extra mounting screws as well, which is awesome. So that was my unboxing video. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Rainy Nights. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't know I had to do that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put all this back in the box for now, and then open it back when I need it. Nah, Britt Allen, I'm not putting it in right now. That'll take too much time. <clears throat> and this is the drive that's in it right now is actually a brand new hard drive as well So I'm not I'm gonna keep using it for the Whistler builds because Whistler doesn't require nearly as much as Longhorn does um, Okay, so I'm going to do a rainy night said they said to insert the 20 uh, Let's see 2250 
disc. Of course, I kind of have to find it first. There's 2223. Windows Aqua. Embedded. Longhorn again. Another Longhorn. This one's blank. Okay, I guess it's not in this pile. I've got too many blank discs. I don't really know what's what anymore. I'll probably put Whistler back into this sleeve here. Sorry, I'm talking to myself, I know. Well, it seems that I can't find the disc I had. So I guess I have to burn it, which sucks, which is a waste, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, C, uh, C, Rosenfeld, no. I live in a single wide trailer. I don't have enough room for a table. So I have to, uh, do all my videos on the floor. MJD did the same thing whenever he started. He's actually done it for a long time as well. Maybe I'll be able to afford a, a, a nicer house where, you know, three bedrooms so me and my fiance can both have our own room. But... This is a two bedroom and she gets the room for all of her stuff she does, so. It's okay. Yeah, I got you, Rainy Nights. I appreciate it. I usually have my discs labeled and, you know, because you guys could have seen it in the videos, but <clears throat> I appreciate that, Rainy Nice. I'm glad that you think that. But I mean, most people aren't trying to install, like, so basically most people that have, you know, actual hardware and stuff and they try to install windows on it, most people install them on the floor, especially if it's a laptop. Um, cause like, if it's a laptop, you take it, you, you put something on it, you know, it doesn't have an operating system on it, so you're trying to install something. Of course, laptops are usually done on a couch, but it's kind of hard to record on a couch, I mean, if you look at my first few videos before I got a tripod, I actually tried to record on a couch, but... Alright. It says there's 3 minutes and 20 seconds left on the, uh... Uh, what's the build number? 2250. Yeah, that's true. The laptop can get hot on the couch, but... I'm also on carpet, so it doesn't make a difference if it, gets, it can get hot on either one. Well, it depends on the couch, really. Like, if it's a leather couch, it, it'll definitely get too hot. It's crazy how fitting this background is, though. Because this is a Dell computer. Oh, I didn't even realize you can move this. Look at that. Huh. So if you get more icons, you can shrink it. I didn't even realize that.
Wait, since I'm on build 2250, will the upgrade still pop up? That's interesting. It's like if it's the same build or older, I guess, you can upgrade from. Weird. Gotcha, I appreciate it. So... There's a few uh, new stuff they added to this next build, which I will be reading off during setup, just like I did on the previous uh, Longhorn episode uh, thing. Alright, it should be done here in a few seconds, so I'll go ahead and pop this uh, disc tray open. I got the disc here, I got my marker. Help me remember to write down the build number on this disc. Whoa, did I just push the CRT button? I think I did. Yeah, there's a button on here, you guys can't see it, but the FA button, oh wait, I don't know what I did. Huh, interesting. All right, so you said at this screen, I can go ahead and swap it and then press install. Oh, I press install now first and then swap it. Whoops. All right, don't mind me. I'll just go ahead and put this back in. Okay, do I do it now? Or do I push next? All right, swapping now. I'll go ahead and write, I'm not gonna go write this. I'm gonna pop this in first before I do. Hello, Fallowware. Good, glad to see you here. All right, let's go ahead and push next. And let me write down the stuff on this disc here. Who knows, I may uh, need these discs again later. Maybe I'll redo this series back uh, whenever I, you know, have a whole change because, you know, people change. All right. I wrote that down. I can close my marker, throw it up on the desk. I'll go ahead and throw this disc up here with the rest of them. And I accept. Next. You know what? I didn't change the freaking date. Hang on a second. Let me go ahead and change the date while it does all this. Not sure why it says wrong volume, but I'm going to go ahead and ignore it for right now. I don't feel like pulling my papers out. My room is kind of a mess right now, so I'm just going to, you know, use uh, BetaWiki. So it says 8, 10, 2000. So let's see, October, right? No, wait, what? I just realized this says it's 2002 and it, the time bomb never went out. So let's see, one, two, eight, 10, 2000. Yeah, I forgot to change the uh, date. Got the date correct that time. Let's push try again. Why is it telling me this? 
I, mean, I, I thought you said this is what you have to do. Were you, uh, were you wrong, Rainy Nights? Oh god. I don't think this is what's supposed to be happening. <laughs> I have tried clicking continue. Maybe it's just doing it per, uh, hang on, let me... Wait, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm restarting. Oh god. Okay, I'm just going to force restart it. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm not force restarting it. Screw it, I'm force restarting it. <laughs> I'm not doing that trick again. So this is the final preview before it's considered beta 1. So what problems are you talking about, Rainy Nights? It doesn't even say there's any problems on the beta wiki. Maybe you just have a messed up ISO. I don't know, we'll see. Contains a newer version, yes. Is it? Gotcha, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. I wonder why 2257 is <laughs> personal. All right, let's try one more time and I'll just spam continue and it'll probably copy the files over constantly. What an interesting setup wizard though. Remember, make sure you push the live button so you can stay, you know, synced up with me. 
Or don't if you just want to keep watching it without uh, missing anything. Once the license agreement comes up. So this one. Okay, swapping now. Let's see if that works or if it's going to spam me again. There we go. That worked. Nice. I don't have to freaking miss anything. Does that trick always work for this kind of stuff? Because I would I would love to do that for my Longhorn series because I know they have a lot of different builds that jump around. Like from server. Can you upgrade or downgrade from server to professional or to home? Because I'd love to look at every build. But if it doesn't work, I'll just, you know, fresh install it. I'll lose my stuff, I guess. Yeah, there it goes. Every time I freaking see this screen, I always can just hear the fake whistler sounds in my head. You guys know what I'm talking about? If not, I can play it. Yeah. Always in my freaking head whenever I go on this build. I mean, on this uh, beta build. And now that I freaking know how it was built, anytime I listen to the sounds in reverse, which is Windows 98 and Windows 2000 beta, uh, beta 3, whenever I hear them reversed, it just immediately in my head, boom, I hear the -na 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 thing from that video game the Microsoft game, and then them all mashed together every time I hear it. <laughs> Ooh, oh god. Look at, look at that down here, look at that. The colors. Man, I can't wait to see the, the cool little like animation stuff. That's so freaking cool. Um... I don't remember who, I think it was Billy, Billy, Billy O'Reilly, he made a video on how exactly they made the fake sound. Like, he straight up debunked it. I'm sure he got, like, you know, knowledge from someone else about what it was from, but he showed, showed you how to do it. But honestly, that's cool. I don't remember seeing this at all. Why can't Microsoft just... Oh, that's cool. It just notified me ads are, ads will be... Oh, ugh, ugh. Hang on, let me say that again. YouTube is notifying me that ads will run shortly for some viewers in like a minute. So if anybody gets ads, there you go. Hey, for those who have Adblock, disable Adblock. It helps support. <laughs> but um, what was I talking about? I already forgot what I was talking about. I appreciate it, Amore Hoy. Amore Hoy, sorry. Yeah, I remember talking about the uh, Whistler sounds being debunked, but I can't remember what I was talking about after that. I thought I was talking about this animation down here. Oh well.
Yeah, I didn't realize that YouTube has the option to automatically, like, insert ads. Oh, it's actually a, a more joy. I've asked you that whenever we first started showing up in the stream how to actually pronounce it, but you said I was pronouncing it right. That's why I've been saying hoy this whole time. It's not Spanish. Yeah, I know. All right. While we wait, I'm going to go ahead and read off what Be uh, BetaWiki has to say about this stuff. So I won't be able to read chat while I read this. So give me a second uh, if anyone talks in the chat. Um, okay, so. Let's see. This is the final preview before beta 1. It's got a new boot screen, which I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. You guys can go look it up for yourself if you want more information. Um, when upgrading to this build, a graphical overlay with a progress bar, which is in similar style to, a, to the GUI portion billboards, whatever that means, is shown during the text mode portion as it copies files. However, it still falls back to text mode if it encounters errors. So it must be talking about this right here, what, what I'm looking at right there. Oh, I see what they're talking about. Yeah, usually there's text down here, isn't there? Setup now includes billboards during the last portion of, G of GUI setup that resembles the ones used in Windows 98 and Windows Me. Alongside of this build was upgraded from a previous build or Windows version, and, and Ubi will run after the GUI portion of setup. So there's going to be an Ubi? The Ubi oddly reverted to the design seen in Windows Me Beta 3 builds, though with the Windows Me branding replaced with Windows Whistler. Merlin doesn't work again. Dang. Rip Merlin, man. Alright, so now there's shell stuff. What's this about? The login screen received minor updates such as a please wait message while shutting down, and the user logging in is shown during the login process. The professional theme has been given a makeover, that's good to know, and would largely remain unchanged up to build 2419. The theme was renamed to watercolor in build 2410. I love the watercolor theme. That must be what, uh, what this theme is they're talking about right now. Alongside, alongside with, sorry, along with the professional theme, the start panel, now called personal start menu, has been given a makeover. Professional SKU does not have an enabled to Okay, I'll have to read about this in a minute. There is now a comments link. The build removes hot pluggable devices from control panel. Clear type. Now it has a user interface to enable it. Starting with this build, the kernel supports the min minute min int argument for booting. I'm not sure what uh, WP Windows pre-installation environment. Interesting. So there's not that much to read off, fortunately, but. Oh God, I didn't even realize the screen was flickering a bunch and still, until I like went back to the live stream. Now it says Windows Whistler Personal down there in the bottom, right? So he was, they, uh, Rainy Nice was correct. Gotcha, Morgulay. And nice, ooh. Microsoft Codename Whistler. Yeah, <laughs> more joy, it's okay. Did I miss the freaking boot screen? I didn't even think about that. I'll have to react to it, because I, I completely overlooked it while I was reading that off. doing stuff. Wait, let me let me actually read. Yeah, there's some bugs. If setup is started from MS DOS, oh, installing devices. If setup is started from MS DOS via uh, via WinNT.exe, 
The setup will refer to itself as Windows Whistler Server in the top left. Interesting. The theming service in this build has rendering problems and often will fail to redraw the theme borders correctly. All right. Due to a faulty version check from the updated dynamic setup, this build will not upgrade from any NT-based build as it will result in Windows Whistler setup cannot, cannot upgrade the currently installed operating system. The build can, however, upgrade properly from Win Windows 9X. To bypass this error, do the following. Due to the changes in the UBI, Merlin will not appear for unknown reasons. Okay, well, if Merlin doesn't show up, then we know it's just a known bug. Um, well, we upgraded from Windows Whistler, which was WinNT, and it still works, so I'm not exactly sure. I guess it means just like Windows NT4. Yeah, I know I'm more joy. There's a uh, there's actually channel members uh, live stream like the previous live stream, which was Windows Aqua. It's still channel members. What I do is I keep it in channel members until I um, upload the video of it and then I make it public because there's really no no reason for channel members to go just watch a previous stream. So I, I only do that so people that weren't there for the stream don't get spoiled by whatever happened unless they're a channel member and in that case of course you guys get special priority. Yeah, sorry for the confusion about that. There's only one stream that's going to stay channel members and that's because um, something happened and I had to edit it and it's posted as a video instead of a live stream. So, you know. Hello, Estonia. Oh yeah, I'm more joy. When'd you get the ad? What uh, what video? My day's been okay. I'm a little bit dizzy for some reason. I'm okay when I stand up, but whenever I'm like sitting down, I I just I'm dizzy. I don't know why. Ah, nice. I appreciate it. I'm sure there's a way to stop, um, you know, ad blockers from running on like certain YouTube channels and their videos. I know there's a way. I'm sure there is. It wouldn't make sense if there wasn't. Man, it's taking a while, isn't it? Oh, it's installing the display drivers. <laughs> Talking about Mac on a channel dedicated for Windows. German washing machine. Um, yeah, this is big enough to fit on a CD. 
I don't know the exact size of the ISO, but uh, I put it on a CD. It's so weird how it's installing Windows without using the disk. I guess it's just the devices, but gosh, what devices on here is making it take so long? Sorry, I'm not talking much. Like I said, I'm eating these uh, sweet tarts ropes, and I'm also really dizzy, so it's kind of hard to like think right now. But I am wondering why there's two QR codes on this box. Ah, I see. Never mind. Um, I got this, uh, I think I got all of my Whistler builds off of, um, let's see, what's it called, uh, winworldpc.com, but the later builds, uh, that are pretty much Windows XP, I, I think I got them just from the archive.org. Yeah, bon appetit, it's just candy. I was listening to um, the uh, when all windows start up and shut down sounds reversed from Billy O'Reilly today, and now it's just constantly stuck in my head the Windows 2000 start up and shut down. Excuse me, sorry. Wow, this is taking forever to freaking install devices. Uh, and Lord Joy, you're probably talking about the fake Windows Whistler sounds. They're very well known, and I, I can I can guarantee you it's the one with the freaking choir singing. That's pretty much all the sounds. It's it's I love the sounds, but they're just meant for some like. Uh, fan-made Vista pack, Windows Vista pack. Uh -huh, you're welcome, Amar Joy. You could probably just look up the uh, Longhorn fake sounds. It goes... That was weird. OBS Studio, like, <laughs> it was like... OBS Studio was like, oh, technical error said, uh, connection lost, reconnecting, and then successfully reconnected. I've never seen that before. You're kidding, Rainy Nights. I know one of the sounds is a Samsung sound, but I didn't think they all were.
I found a Samsung theme on the archive.org. I'll put it in the uh, I put it in the chat. If if this is the actual thing, I'm going to have to let Billy know. Someone let me know. I can't really turn my audio on right now on my laptop. I guess I could, but you know. Oh God. <laughs> you have to open up a Windows XP uh, VM though. In the description of the video, what was in the description of the video? You know what? I'm going to open VMware on my laptop. Um, old Linux distros, just go to uh, winworldpc.com and you'll find it there. More joy. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I haven't seen that video about Samsung. I didn't know they were Samsung at all. I just heard the sound. Like the sound, one of the, literally one of the sounds is on my Samsung phone. Why is this taking such a long time? The hard drive isn't even hardly moving. Um, I have one of the fake sounds on my phone and I was like, what the crap? Whenever I first found it. Dang, follower! I didn't, I didn't know that was Samsung. I didn't. Of course, it's Samsung, but I didn't figure that out. Has this moved at all? Hello, Fox. Nice to see you. Seriously, okay, I'm gonna put my mouse right here. And we'll see if it moves. It might have froze on me. That's interesting. Why is there like There's a there's like a bubble noise and it fades out. It's not the original like sound that everyone knows and loves. And yeah, and it has the bubble sound in it too. What what's the bubble about? Oh, you got the wrong one. Okay. I was kind of confused. 
Unless they have their own special bubble thing. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm talking to the Foulware in my Discord server. He's sending in teams. That's that startup. You've got to be kidding me. That... That is literally why it sounds so professionally made. That's because it was professionally made. How is how does not like everyone in my chat seems to know this except me. And I used to like try and look everywhere for it and could not find it at all. Also, uh rainy nights, it doesn't appear anything's happening. Should I like restart it or cuz the hard drive isn't doing anything either. Would force restarting work, or will it just restart the install? That was Bubble again, by the way, Fellware. Now, why did Mike or Microsoft? Why did Samsung make the fake theme? All right, I'm gonna try and restart. But why did Samsung make that theme? I don't understand. All right, I'm restarting now. Hopefully it works. It installed the display. I saw it do it, but I... Crap. Yeah, all over again. That should be my, na my channel name. Instead of all over Windows, all over again. Bro. It's crazy because the those sounds literally fit Whist not Whistler. I'm looking at Whistler. Oh wait, look at that. Look at the freaking we finally got the uh the boot up well, you know, Whistler thing. Um Why would they freaking take the sounds and put them in Longhorn? They sound exactly like they fit in Longhorn. It's crazy. I wonder if that cab file's in the uh, zip folder I found in the archive. I have data1.cab and it's 14 kilobytes. I mean 14,000 kilobytes. That's crazy. Alright, let's see if it actually installs this time. So I want to know what the heck I can use the infrared that's built into this laptop. Like, what can I even use it for? Yeah, Fal, where I knew they were fit, uh, that they had that because, you know, the Longhorn sounds that people uploaded had these exact sounds in it. I want to know who started the freaking rumor. Hello, Damien. You had a bad day? I'm sorry. A DUI? What are you drinking for, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Discussion moved to Discord. Yeah, this laptop actually has a little infrared on the back of it. If you watch my unboxing video, I think it, you can see it on there. It's got a little infrared spot. And Windows can usually detect uh, that it has infrared too. It, it, not Windows XP for some reason, but Windows, you know, 98 and stuff does. Look at that, the mouse is pretty much in the same spot. I sort of just guessed. To change the sounds in Windows. Um, go to tech support and you'll get explained there. Nah, <laughs> you were just talking about that too. That's funny. Um, old Linux distro, if you watch the unboxing of this laptop, that's pretty much how long I've had this laptop.
Oh, I better mute my laptop. I didn't even realize it was unmuted. If no one, if anyone in this stream doesn't know what, who the heck I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking about Discord. <laughs> if you want to join, uh, you can, and you guys can join in on the discussion. Um, it's used, definitely used. All right, so it's moving past the cursor now a little bit. Let's move it right here and see if it can move past. Yeah, the uh, floppy disk drive came broken on it, which really sucks because I'm looking for a good laptop like this one. Um, the laptop actually comes out uh, has. Let me say that again. This laptop actually has compartments like for the battery and the DVD drive to go to into, so I can pop it out and put a different one in. So I was trying to look and find one of the uh, one of the replacements, but I can't find them anywhere. I don't know why. Yeah, this is the five dollar Windows ninety eight laptop. Has it only been... There's no way it's only been two months. Let me fact check that. I don't think that it's only been two months. That wouldn't make any sense. No, the video you're talking about is upgrading it. If you scroll down even more, seven months ago... It's, uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, the $5 Windows 98 laptop unboxing. Yeah, I've had this thing for seven months. Yeah, no, keep scrolling. Scroll, scroll, scroll. It's like one of my first videos that I, whenever I first started the channel. Okay. The hard drive is still uh, it lit up, so. That's why I said it's not the upgrading video. You have to scroll down a lot more. It's this video. Oh, it's now installing the display drivers. Good to know. That'd be weird. Can you install this theme on Windows 11? Still doing display. I'm carefully watching the hard drive light, closely watching it. Oh, it's gone past, look at that! Rainy nights, look! It's actually freaking worked! Yeah, I run Windows 11 as well, on my laptop and my main desktop. My main desktop's in Dev, but my laptop's in Canary. That's weird, usually restarting doesn't fix this stuff, but... Uh, of course, it's going to try and install network, but I don't really have network devices. I have a, uh, I think it has a modem on it, I don't remember. Randy Knights, you're always the one that I turn to for this kind of stuff, because uh, other people don't aren't really sure what to do either. I know Foulware does, but he's probably busy doing something else. My only Windows... Well, it's installing components. I see we're still in the uh, old stages of the setup. It doesn't have like a like a text or anything like it usually does, which is kind of interesting. You think it would, because this is like the, technically the home version. Well, it's copying files from the CD again. Yeah, see, I told you Fowler was doing something. He <laughs> being busy. Completing configuration files. E. It's 
It's now installing COM+. Plus. Always with the COM+, plus, huh? my head back and my head is spinning. Well, you know, it, it's Whistler. It, it jumps around between home and pro. But this currently is home. Upgraded from pro, so technically it's a downgrade, but also an upgrade. It's kind of weird. Hey, there it goes. It is doing the text stuff. Interesting. I wish it still had the like little animation going on down here. I guess there was an error because it says that it'll just return to text when there's a problem. That sucks. Yeah, I, a down upgrade. Using MSN Messenger service. Technically, I'm using MSN Messenger, but I'm actually using Windows Live Messenger. I mean, it's all a part of the same server, so you can always add me on older versions, but still. By converging real-time 2D and 3D graphics, digital video and audio, and the internet, Windows Whistler redefines the role of the computer as a new entertainment system or center, blah, 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 blah. You know, I wonder whenever, like, Windows XP was, like, officially released, I wonder if there was any hints of Whistler anywhere in it, in the files. Like the word Whistler. They're pretty good at getting rid of these fake or these code names out of the system. Yeah, my win uh my Windows Live Messenger has a bug where it it, it it constantly thinks I'm in a full screen application unless I have like a browser open. So whenever I'm in a full full screen application, it takes it puts me in do not disturb mode on it. Increased reliability. Easy to update. <laughs> I can't really update it, but I can upgrade it maybe, but you know. It's basically MSN Messenger, except it's new, so it, you know, that was whenever they changed it from MSN to Windows Live. Yeah, I, did, I made a tutorial on it. You should go check it out. Insert shameless self-promo. <laughs> no, Windows Live? No, that doesn't still exist. It's just the program does, and they've all been customized. You know, the, they've been edited and everything. To uh, work again. It runs off of, it runs off of third-party servers. It doesn't run off of Microsoft servers. Emergeoy, I'm glad to see it. Uh, I'm pushing the button, that's why. <laughs> Anytime I think it's a good time for an ad, I'll just push it. It helps. It helps me. Connects you to the web. Delivers the web to you, wow. Man, this is a slow transfer. Transfer? I don't know where I got transfer from, but it's a slow register, registering components. Did people like, did people use MSN Messenger? Like, you know, a lot. Because I know AOL and AIM was a big thing, so I, I don't know. What, what was used the most? MSN or Yahoo? I'm sure not Yahoo, but AIM. Uh, what else was there? I don't even, I don't know that many messaging, messaging stuff back then.
old Linux distros, um, did you download it from the website that's on the in the description of it? Because I know it's working because I'm signed in right now. Oh, that's good, in Lordjoy. Where'd you download it from? I know the bar's moving, I just saw it move, so it's doing stuff. Did you try adding at scargo.chat at the end of your username when you sign in? I wonder why they got rid of this keyboard. I also wonder why pawn shops don't uh, sell computers where I live. It's kind of stupid. Here we go with another slow thing. What components is it registering, I wonder? I'm having difficulty talking, man. <laughs> Windows just got better. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say pawn shops. Pawn shops do have computers and they don't sell them for cheap. I meant uh, thrift stores. Well, it's halfway there. Oh my god, as soon as I said that, it jumped a bunch. Oh yeah, rainy nights? How, how did that work out? I hear the CD spinning up again. It's saving settings now, finally. That's so true, Rainy Nights. I'm surprised it was successful. I wonder if there's like files in it that it could, it like doesn't even realize it needs to get rid of since it's home instead of professional. Are you able to do that trick on like newer OS's? Like maybe like say Windows Vista Professional downgrade to Windows Vista, I mean Windows 7 Home Premium? Like, is that possible? Since it's like newer than this? Nope, didn't think so. Yes, there is.
Sorry, not biz. Sorry, not professional. I meant Windows Vista business. Because business is basically professional. Because that's what Windows XP was for. Windows XP was meant for businesses. Windows XP Professional was meant for businesses, because that's why there's a Windows XP Home. Which does explain why you can't, technically you, you, you can't, you know, normally you can't, like, upgrade from a professional to a home version, because they're basically, they're different things. Because trying to do that, it would be like, oh, I gotta delete a bunch of stuff. It's just weird because you can upgrade from a home to a professional, you just can't do it the other way around. I don't either, I like Vista. Whoops. Yeah. It was released at the wrong time, and they just, like, screwed it up when they were trying to build it. Honestly, Rainy Nights, instead of freaking Windows 8, moving over to the whole, uh... Um... I don't know why, I can't ever think of that word. I know it has to do with trains. Kind of. Like a subway or something? I can't remember. My head is spinning. I don't even know if you could tell, but I'm laying down right now. I'm so I just wonder what the future is going to be whenever they finally get rid of this stupid, like, simplistic, modern look to logos. It's so boring. I don't know why companies are doing it. Yeah, Rainy Nights, yeah, I know. It sucked. That's why Vista got so much hate. Because Microsoft uh, was screwing up building it, and they couldn't really give an like exact thing on how what the requirements will be for it and everything, and they're trying to build the operating system on new technology and all that stuff. Kind of like with Windows 11 with the whole TPM 2.0 thing. I don't use Firefox. I don't really know what the new logo looks like. Oop, it's about time to restart. It still considers itself Windows 2000, even though it says Longhorn, or Longhorn, Windows Whistler setup at the top of it. Yeah, I can barely run on one gigabyte. There you go, it says 2257 down there in the bottom. go let's see let's see if this uh is whenever i will hear any sounds or not Ooh. well it has the same startup thing i see microsoft codename whistler has the same windows 2000 logo and everything at the bottom, but instead of Windows 2000, built on NT technology, just says Microsoft Codename Whistler. 
Can you believe that as soon as Windows 11 was released, they're already starting Windows 12? Or Windows New Valley? I don't know if it's New Valley or whatever the H was. It's kind of like tossed up in the air right now. Alright, we get a blue screen. It says what it is in the bottom right. What's going to show up? Windows Whistler Personal. That's because Windows Me is basically Windows 9X. Honestly, I'm more joy. I do too. I hope I hope Windows 12 is going to have more like really cool sounds, and they don't just copy it from Windows 11 like they did with Windows, um, like they did with Windows 7 to, or Windows Vista to 7. And then there's eight, but then 10 was different. Ooh, what is this, a newbie? Why is it so quiet? Oh my God, I remember this. I've seen this before, but the, there's no there's no audio. <laughs> you could just push skip Ubi there at the bottom. So it didn't even get to finish the animation for some reason. There's no Merlin either. What the heck? For welcome. <laughs> welcome to Microsoft Windows. Welcome, Gabe. Okay, it still has my profile. Thank you for purchasing a computer with Microsoft Windows Whistler. During the next few minutes, you will be guided through a few steps to enable the internet and multimedia capabilities of this computer. Cool, let's push next. I don't know if this Ubi is supposed to have sound or not, but... No, Windows 8.1 was great. Alright, I don't want to register at this time, so this is pretty much the same thing, same questions you get in Windows XP. I don't have an internet connection, so I can't really do any of this. And immediately... Why does it say 4 on everything? <laughs> Let's push finish. Usually it would have like a user thing here, but I already have a user set up, so... Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's got parentheses around it. <laughs> Windows 8.1 is just Windows 8 SP1. That's literally what it is. Metro, thank you for saying it. I mentioned it earlier, but nobody said what it was. I don't know if I typed that in correctly. I did. Come on, let's hear it. There we go. Now why the heck was there not any, like, sound when the oops, Ubi started? You'd think it would use the intro sound. I guess it's just quiet. I see we kept the same cursors from the last build, so that definitely proves the update. I mean, an upgrade along with the uh, whole screen resolution being, you know, good looking. For me anyways, I don't know about you guys. So did it completely get rid of the, uh, the Dell background thing that we got in the last one? I, I think it probably did. The active desktop, that's what it is. Well, huh. 
Uh oh. I hope the Dell thing is there, kind of. Or hopefully I can just say, okay, there it is. I'm about to, I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Let's see, what does the Windows logo look like? I mean, the start menu, I don't know why I said Windows logo. Ooh. Okay. The pinball logo looks like yin yang. <laughs> Intriguing, intriguing indeed. All right, let me uh, see if I can disable this whole active desktop thing. There we go. Now let's see if the uh, whole um, watercolor background has changed at all. Dang, as soon as I inserted the ads, though, the whole viewer count drops. Whoa. Drop my mic if you guys heard. Oh, hey, look at that. It's got the whole watercolor theme now. Look at the little pixels and stuff up here. I love this theme. Literally one of my favorite. My custom theme? That's interesting. I'm not sure why the text is, you know, black. Ooh, I see watercolor. Is this what I think it is? Dang it, it's not. I don't think any of these are different. No, these are definitely not different. Let's see, anything special on the screensavers? Seems that way. That's the same, but I think the rest of it's the same as well. Yeah, all this stuff is the same. Alright, what about appearance? It should all... Okay, it still considers itself professional. Let's swap between the two real quick. Just to see if uh, it'll fix any buggy things that were going on. Well. Oh god. What the heck? Okay, what an interesting bug. I can't drag anything around the entire t uh, top of the... The entire... <laughs> what? Question mark. Oh no. Okay, so I can't drag it around. Good to know. <laughs> Look at this, I could put it in 16 colors. Let's see it in 16 colors. Oh god. What? This is 16 colors to you? No, it's high color. I said 16 colors. There it goes. Haha. <laughs> Windows Whistler in 16 colors. I still can't drag anything around. <laughs> Look at this. Oh gosh. Okay, let's go back. Oh man, it must have messed the <laughs> messed the aspect ratio up or something. There we go. That's better. Okay. All this is pretty much the same. Let's get out of here. Start menu kind of just glides in. Let's see. Anything special in properties here? Yeah, it's the notification thing. I'll go ahead and turn this up in case it's not turned up all the way. Oh, did you see that? When you actually select something, it has a little background whenever you hover over it. Nice. Let's see, start. Customize. Okay, so none of these are really anything I can change. All right, let me read the... Uh wiki here and see if there's anything special about it. Dang. 2419 is whenever it's not called professional anymore. 
or it's the last build that it's called professional. Start panel now called the personal start menu has been given a makeover. Yeah, I've noticed and is now enabled by default in the, per in the personal SKU. The professional SKU does not have it enabled by default. So there is a 2257 professional SKU out there. I just wonder, wonder if I could possibly find it. So there's the speech is just renamed to or speech speech v 5.0 was renamed to speech and a new credential manager was introduced i'm not really sure what credential manager is how come after i installed it like everyone left like i'm <laughs> i don't understand all right let's see is there anything really special in here All of this stuff looks the same. You know I gotta play some pinball. Yeah, all of this stuff is the same. There's not really that much in this build to really look at. Except for some, you know, changes. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that logo there. I think all the sounds are the same in here as well. Utopia sound scheme. Yeah, nothing's gonna be changed in here until pretty much it's the official version of XP comes out for some reason. I'm not sure why, but all right, let's play a little bit of pin. Wait, what is synchronize? To ensure that you have the most current data when working offline, you can have Windows synchronize the data on your computer and the data on the network, so they both are up to date. That's cool. I mean, I guess it works for the time it came out. Uh, let's see, let's check the file explorer and see if anything looks different about it. So the whole, the comments button is supposed to be up here. Oh, I can actually drag stuff around. It's supposed to be up here, but clearly it's kind of busted. Yeah, gotta work towards that pinball record I had. What what build did I run that on? Was it on 2000 or Whistler? Let's see. I don't remember. Oh God. That's kind of loud. Oh well. No, oh, that's really loud. Dang. That was that was Whistler I installed it on. You knew I gotta play some pinball. It's kinda weird to play it on this keyboard because I've never I've never really used this keyboard before. <laughs> that was bad. I was actually playing this on my main computer the other day. Is this too loud for you guys? I wish whenever you full screen this game, it actually put it in full screen. Instead of just having like, you know, it still being in 640 by 480 and having uh, black borders all around it. Competitive pinball players. Oh, there we go. Of course, since I'm streaming, it's gonna last. The game's gonna last a little longer than I usually last whenever I play. See, I never get that little animation, and all those noises happen whenever I play this game normally. Must be a certain amount of points that I get or something. I don't understand how it works. Come 
on, yeah, get green. Be green. Sorry, I'm still a little busy. I can't really comment on it. I'm kind of focused, too. It's interesting. I used to have a trick to getting the uh, thing up on the purple. The purple ramp, but I sort of just got out of the groove. Now I don't have the trick anymore. Game over. <laughs> I didn't even reach a mill on that one. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to add a number every time I play. All right, well, that was pinball. I didn't even reach a freaking million on that one. So is there anything else that I should be looking at before I end the stream? What do you guys think? Any comments at all? Anything I should look at before I go? I mean, everything is pretty much the same. So I noticed whenever you push the start button, it just immediately pulls the start button when you push it again. The control panel? Let's see, anything special about the control panel I should look at? Uh, let's go to simple, just, you know, make it look like a control panel. Ooh, oh, whoa! Thank you for that recommendation. Look at these weird icons, they don't fit. <laughs> What the heck? They don't fit at all. I mean, they look cool. They just don't fit. They look like a... I don't know, like a, an old Mac. Oh, it just... Okay. Hey, the comments button is actually here this time. Did it finally fix itself? Pick a task. Any task. Or pick a control panel icon. Hmm... Are any of the... Is anything else in here different? No, well, this shouldn't be different. Or maybe it is different. Dang. You know, you never see any icon look like this, ever. It's only in Whistler that it looks like this. It's so weird. Change my pic- Let's look at the pictures. Is there any pictures that come default? Oh my. There is pictures that come default. Why? Where did they get these images from? Wow, what a great preview. It's the same exact size. An alien. I guess this is a flower. And you got your little, little people. Man, if this wasn't pink and if this was red, I'd choose it. You got another flower. A uh, random mushroom question mark? A random robot. The inside of a shell. A baseball. Another flower and a UFO. They must have liked they must like aliens. Oh, they're from Neptune? Oh okay, I didn't even know that. I never thought to like look into this. Um I'll I'll keep it at uh I'll keep it at this for now. You could use your own picture, of course, but Related task. Change the theme. I think this is just the themes that I looked at earlier. Yeah. Okay. So it did fix itself. I can drag stuff around now. And the comments button is there. Alright, cool. It says I have two viewers. Uh, let's see. Anything else special in here? I think this is all the same. Yeah. The clock doesn't even look very different. It's kind of hard to look at. For, for some something about it, it's just a little difficult to look at. Hello, Fallowware. Welcome back. I believe I looked at everything. Yeah, all this stuff seems like it's the same. MSN Communities Publishing Support 9.1. Interesting. Well. 
Well, I guess that leaves me there. <laughs> as soon as Foul War comes back, I'm pretty much done. What the hell? How did I do this? Okay, I guess somehow I copied the background and put it on the desktop. <laughs> I don't really know how I did that. What did I push? Push. I pushed the function key and somehow I got the de- Oh. Wait, seriously? If you just drag the desktop? Oh my gosh. That is kind of stupid. If you drag the desktop, it just copies the image. That's kind of annoying, <laughs> if you think about it. Let's see, what version of Internet Explorer is this? Five point six point twenty two fifty seven. See, technically, they're building they like they're building Internet Explorer with Windows, which is why you couldn't get rid of Internet Explorer because it was literally baked into the operating system. You know why? Why? Uh, is this considered the active desktop? I mean, I guess it is. I don't know. I guess that would make sense. It may just do that for every background image. Wait, does it have the, the proper video drivers? I don't even like pay attention to that. Maybe Foulware, I'm not too certain. Yeah, it's installed. It says there's multiple monitors when there's not. I don't know why it says generic television. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this stream and recording. I, I, I did it again. Good grief. I need to find the delete key on this keyboard. Let's see, where is it? It may be a function key. Yep, it's a function key. Let's see, does, it, does the function key work? Oh, okay. Why is it not doing what I'm asking it to do? What did, what happened? Why does the background look different? No. Weird. Can I not? I can't delete it. Using the delete key anyways. Whatever. Huh. <laughs> It's okay. Um, Alright, so that's, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I'll go ahead and do the outro and everything. And I'll probably end the stream as soon as I uh, do my outro and whatnot. Because I really don't feel that good right now. So. So anyways, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we didn't really get to do that much. Uh, there wasn't that much that changed on here. Obviously the theme changed. Some stuff in the control panel changed. Of course we had a little bit of fun in pinball. Um. <laughs> thank you guys so much for clicking on this video uh hopefully in the next video they'll have more to look through and maybe they've changed internet explorer in the next video i honestly i'm not too certain but this is the last build before it's considered uh you know beta one so i'm hoping to see a different start menu maybe fingers crossed um but yeah Make sure you make sure um, to go down in the description and click on any links. You know you can help support me or see what uh, stuff I used to record and stream with and whatnot. But uh, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.
And now the video is muted. Oh, I thought I changed the text there in, t in the left. Thank you to everyone who stuck around with the stream. I appreciate the, uh, you watching. I hope you guys had fun along with me. I, I, I had a little bit of fun, even though I don't feel too good. Yeah, I know my Discord was actually going crazy today. I, I really like seeing it. It's really nice to watch. Um, but yeah. Thank you for sticking around on the stream. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Uh, goodbye guys, I'll see you guys later. You know, that's how my outro used to be. I used to be, just be like, goodbye guys, and then just smile at the camera. Back on my old channel. Um, but anyways, thanks for sticking around.